hello 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 and welcome to my youtube channel it is i your favorite alchemist the alchemy goddess thank you guys so much for tuning in if you're new to my channel welcome if you're returning thank you so much for coming back it is so greatly appreciated i want you to go ahead right now since you're here before i begin while i'm shuffling subscribe ring the bell for notifications um let me know that you stop by give me a thumbs up leave a comment don't forget to share with your family, share with your friends, let them know. <laughs> this is going to be your August 2020 Zodiac reading for the cusp of Aries. I'm sorry, the cusp of Pisces and Aries. Pisces and Aries cusp babies run from March the 17th through March the 23rd, and you are the cusp of rebirth. So um, I feel like, you know, these cusp readings are going to be a lot more beneficial to a lot of you because some of you are born on the cusp and some of you don't even know, you know. So this is a great way to introduce you further into the zodiacs so you can get a better understanding of how every zodiac, we, we, we have every zodiac in our chart, okay? Every single one at some place at some point, all right? Whether it was Scorpio and Mars or, you know, um, Libra and Venus or whatever the case may be. When you were born, the, the planets and the stars were aligned and each and every zodiac is a constellation. So these constellations dwelled within some planet at some point when you were born. So this is why this is important. I want people to get out of the mindset of devoting themselves to their zodiacs and opening up themselves so that they can be more familiarized with the reason and purpose behind studying astrology. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started with the Pisces Aries reading. Again, March 17th through March 23rd would be your birthday. So if you fall in between those dates, you are on the cusp of rebirth. And I'm doing things a little bit different today. I'm doing um, you and your person because most of my readings okay, tend to be love readings. Look at that. Pisces Aries first card on the table is you. You is... I'm doing you and I'm doing your person. How your person sees you, how you see your person, okay? So first I'm gonna start off with you. I feel like your person sees you as being in control. Your person sees you as having it all figured out. They don't seem very worried. They don't seem very regretful about you. I think they're kind of confident with you. I do feel like they may feel like you keep some secrets though. You may be a little bit secretive and Maybe at the same time, you may be, maybe you've exhausted something or maybe you've exhausted some kind of funds. I don't know. I just see an, an exhaustion kind of. Like I'm getting this, this feeling of exhaustion big time. Like being tired, you know, not being really like capable of it's not that you don't care. I just feel like you you, had, you don't have a lot to give right now. Like, I kind of get that vibe. Like, you've, you've taken all that you can or you've got to a certain point that you just don't have any more left to give. I, I kind of get that. Like, you've, you've picked all your eggs or you've picked all your, you know, flowers and there's nothing left on the tree. You know, it's like you're kind of a little empty, but at the same time, it's like you have accumulated something for yourself, you know? So they may feel like not regretful or not upset about you, but just like you keep some secrets or you don't share everything with them. That's how they feel about you. And I feel like the overall outcome is you may possibly let go. You know, you may possibly walk away. You may pull away from this situation. Mm, you may move towards another situation. Let's see. Yeah, you may go in a different direction. And I wonder why that is. But we're going to see what your person is like. We're going to see what's going on with your person. Ooh. Your person doesn't seem to know their worth. That's interesting. You are very confident. They see you as knowing your confidence. But you don't think that they even understand their worth. I see collaborations. Like, how can you collaborate with them? How can we work? How can we build together if you don't understand how important you are you know like that's kind of what i'm getting here that's how you see them how you how yeah that's how you see them how they feel about you or how you feel about them
You feel they are very protective of their energy. They're at, they're 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 not they're not letting you in. That's what I get. Like, and this could be also associated with them not understanding or knowing their worth. They're not letting you in. They they're just they, they and it has probably a lot to do with their stability. It's something to do with money, not being able to be a great provider. Maybe you're really debating if you want to walk away. What's going on with these readings? I mean, I know a lot of people are letting go of a toxic energy, but it seems like for the past few readings, everyone has been thinking about separating or moving away from someone or something. Like, I got definitely get that. You feel like they want to walk away from you, or you feel like. They, at least they're contemplating it. Now, the end result here. Let's see what the end result is going to be. I see a separation. That's crazy because you may be moving towards something else and they believe that. But more importantly, you may be moving towards something else going in a different direction. I see a breakup. I do. I see a new direction. Or giving in. Hmm. Let me get some more information on this table. Get some more cards out here. What is this about? Water energy, Pisces energy, definitely. I feel like they, they they kind of are at a place where they don't really care anymore. They're kind of annoyed or maybe fed up or tired of something. It may not have anything to do with you, though. This may be completely their energy, all their energy. But I do feel like they are tired. They get tired. They lose compassion. They get annoyed. Like, they're just getting annoyed with you. Which, I mean, if you're moving forward, I mean, I wouldn't want to be bothered with you either. Let's get some clarity. Oh, left a card here. Sorry. Get some comp some clarity on how they see you. They see you as okay. Hold on, that's why I need another one. They don't think you can see them. They think you have so much going on in your life and you're so focused on yourself and you can't see them. Like you don't even pay attention to them. And they feel like you're you're already debating about, you know. A tough decision maybe leaving them or maybe like they're afraid you're gonna see them they're gonna they're afraid you're gonna see that they don't really have any belief in themselves they're gonna they're afraid you're gonna see that they're afraid that you're gonna see them for exactly who they really are you know that's a fear for them now how they feel about you yeah They feel sad, but it's like they're doing it to themselves. They are definitely doing it to themselves. You're not keeping anything from them. I think the only secret you would be keeping from them. <laughs> they think they're too much for you. They think they're a burden on you. They think they're a burden on you. They are definitely down on themselves. Like this is self-sabotage. It's completely self-sabotage. They are down on themselves. They don't believe in themselves. They believe that you think you can do better. You have nothing to give them because you're maybe too focused on yourself or maybe you just don't join their pity party. Like, I'm not joining your pity party. You want to sit there and wallow, go ahead. You know, so that's why they feel like they become a burden on you. Maybe they depend on you too much, maybe financially. They feel like you're very doubtful of them. Very doubtful. They see you as being maybe unable to compromise or maybe unable to, 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 to change. And you're the cusp of rebirth. So this inability to change or this inability or this self-doubt, I don't know where this is coming from, but we're going to get some confirmation on the table in a little bit. Mm. Let's see what the ultimate outcome is for you, though. Like how this is going to end. Because I see you going in a different direction. I see you finding some kind of deep spiritual twin flame type of love here. I definitely get that. Let's see what the end result is for you. I'm 
balance, healing. I mean, I feel like you're pretty good already, but maybe this situation is unbalanced in your life. It's possible. Yeah, you're moving on to someone who can provide for you. And that's exactly what they're afraid of. You're going to start putting this whole situation into perspective and it's frightening them. Because that's what's going to happen. You're going to find someone who you can build with, maybe have a family with, someone that can, you know, support you, provide for you, protect you. Someone who's confident. You know, I see an overflow of money. I see an overflow of abundance, you know. I see that. Now, let's see. Let's get some clarity here. Because remember, I told you, they... You don't think that they think they can see you. Like, they don't know their worth, right? They need some work. They need to put some work into themselves. They need to put some work into themselves. They have no direction. They don't. Which makes sense because I feel like they're depending on you. Like, you might be taking care of them. Might be, you might be the one paying all the bills and they not. You know? And I feel like this could be like a man. And this is why, you know, it's probably just destroying his whole little ego. You know? Mm, how they feel. How you feel about them. They're not a leader. And they don't even want to be. Like, they're so over arrogant that it's stopping them. That's that Aries vibe. You know, it's stopping them from success. They have unhealed energy, definitely. Their guard is completely up. They're not stable. They can't provide. Like, yo, what's going on here? Mm. But they make logical decisions. That doesn't make sense. They are falling apart. They feel like everything is falling apart with you. You feel like everything is falling apart with them. You feel like everything. You know? This could definitely be a um Aquarius uh, Aquarius Libra Gemini. I have the King of Swords. But then I have the Knight of uh, the King of Wands reversed and I have the King of Pentacles reversed. So Mm. But I see them kind of communicating that with you a little bit. Like they're going to tell you. Like I feel like they're going to tell you they can't do it. They can't do this anymore. What's the overall outcome for your person? Fast changes. They're going to take action. I think they're going to walk away. You're not going to have to leave them. They're going to leave you. Yep. Yep. Death card endings. It's coming to an end. They may they may be going towards um this may also be you know Scorpio, but um I'm really getting that Scorpio vibe. I'm getting more like this is coming to an end. The relationship is ending. Um bad idea. This was not what they wanted, you know. The seeds didn't grow, they're kind of annoyed, you know. They I think they I, I feel like they were too dependent on you, you know, and I think that they have another option. Like you're too good for them. That's number one. <laughs> Um, number two, I feel like they, fi they figured they would find someone who can take care of them. Someone who will take care of them and make them feel like a man. Because I don't think you can do it. I just don't. I think that you just don't have time for it. Like, I don't have time to fix you. You know, that's, that's the vibe I'm getting all day long. I don't have time to fix you. One more shuffle. We're going to get... Um, final about these two, about you and your person, Pisces, Aries. Some final information about you and your person. Yeah, definitely comes to an end. Mm -hmm. They're giving up. They're giving up and the changes happen real quick. There's no direction. You two are not going anywhere. They have more self-work they need to put in, but I don't feel like they're even going to do that. I feel like they're going to have someone else. Like, they're just going to jump from you to somebody else. Yep. They're going to jump from you to somebody else. You're going to have a hard time letting go. 
but now you'll be able to keep your money. <laughs> you'll have a hard time letting go, but now you'll be able to keep your money. And for them, this is actually going to be better. You know, this is actually their luck turning around. Them letting go or them losing you is going to be good for them because they've been too dependent on you. You become They become too much a burden on you. You can't carry their weight no more, you know. They don't really have any direction and they need to lose you. You know what I'm saying? Things need to fall apart because they need to learn how to be that, that for themselves. So let it fall as it may. All right, my Pisces Aries, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading for August 2020. If this reading has resonated with you, leave a comment. If it hasn't, come back the end of the month. It might resonate with you later and leave a comment. Subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Give me those thumbs up. Make sure you share, share, share. If you're looking to schedule a private, more in-depth personal reading or if you want to sign up for the weekly subscriptions where I email a 15 card reading to your email or inbox every week for a month you can sign up by emailing me or messaging me on Facebook or Instagram um also if you want to sign up I I'll leave all the information down below in the description box all my links if you want to sign up for the sister cipher we are having August the 16th in Plainfield New Jersey the email will also be provided and you can send us an email and we will send you an, a private invitation all right my Pisces Aries cusp of rebirth Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll check you again. I'll check you again later next time. I can't talk. Y'all have a good day. As always, y'all know what it is. Peace. <laughs>